First Sunday in Advent, Year B, from Psalm 80. Restore us, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week call upon us to clearly identify our grievances rather than to ignore them. The times when we feel unclean and all our righteous deeds like a filthy cloth. The times when we look around and see no one who calls on God's name or attempts to take hold of God. The times when our own attempts at righteousness have made us the derision of our neighbors and we feel like we're being punished for others' transgressions. Identifying those feelings of grievance in ourselves and in Scripture gives us an opportunity to adopt the Scripture's expectation of deliverance as our own and to see God's fulfillment of those expectations as supporting our hope for the fulfillment of our own. In our Gospel reading, we hear Jesus reminding the disciples that Scripture has told them how to recognize not just the end times, but also all the proximately awful times through which we must live in expectation of deliverance. Not knowing the day or the hour, we are to keep alert and expectant whenever it feels to us like the world as we know it is passing away. In that case, the next step is literally crucial namely to follow the example Paul sets in his letter to the squabble in Corinthians, praying about the situation, taking the time to identify something about the person or the situation for which we are able to give thanks, even if, like Isaiah, the only thing we can think of is the fact that God is the potter and we are all the work of God's hand, no matter how annoying. That offering up of our prayers and thanks reminds us that there's goodness even in things that oppress or frighten or maybe even just annoy or unsettle us. That thanksgiving enables us to take the third step of doing the work the Master has assigned to us. The work of praying for and even acting for the preservation of that goodness. Though heaven and earth will pass away, Jesus' words will not pass away. These are words of promise like forgive, restore, and gather, and words of instruction like feed, clothe, welcome, and visit. Let us therefore keep awake in the name of that same Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. <laughs>